Okay, fair warning, it's not a pretty job, but it's important to safe cooking outdoors. This time of year, you've got to open up the gas grill and get the grime out. Here's how. Hi, it's Candace and Heather from Orson Gigi, and we know it's everyone's favorite time of year, time to pull out the grill, but we want to share with you three of our favorite tips to make sure that that grill is running 100%. Running you never want to start your grill and see flames bursting up inside, so we're going to make sure we prevent that today. The first step is to gr clean out the inside of the grill. This is something you want to do after it's all cooled down, so make sure that the heat has gone off. So I usually do this maybe even the day after that we've used it. You're going to start by removing your grill grates. They're not attached, they slip right out. So you remove the grill grates and get those out of the way. Then you'll find the protective grease bars above the, burn the burners. So you pull those out and get those out of the way as well. If there's debris on those, you can clean those off. After you have removed the grill grates and the grease bars, you're going to expose the burner tubes. And using a long-handled stainless steel brush, you're going to brush perpendicular to those tubes to make sure all the ports are clean of any debris. This is something you only need to do about once a year. It's just making sure that you're giving, giving an opportunity for the gas to come out of all those holes. Once that's clean, then you want to scrape down the inside of the grill. Using a flat spatula, you can scrape any debris down into the catch pan below. This catch pan is found underneath. It's meant to come out, so you can push everything out and then quickly throw that garbage that you found under the bottom of your grill away and scrape some of the stuff that might be stuck because if you're using some marinades or something like that, oftentimes it builds kind of some caramelized chunks on the bottom. And that's where your fire is going to start. If you have problems, you want to make sure that drip pan is completely cleared out before you start grilling each time. Exactly. And then there was one more that there's a drip tray underneath, but oftentimes all the fat will drip through and catch underneath. Oftentimes it's found with a, a aluminum liner that you can quickly just take out and throw away and replace with another disposable liner. Once your grill is cleaned, you're ready to start grilling. But do you always know when your propane is actually attached? Or if you have just re replaced it, you want to know if you've done it correctly. So a great way to do that is take Sudsy's uh, rag and put some soapy water on where it's connected to your propane tank. From there, you'll turn your gas on, and if it starts to make a bubble, you'll realize that it's not connected correctly, and it may be time to get a new propane tank. So use these tips this summer to get your grill ready to go and get you cooking outside. And don't forget to join us uh, Saturday, June 2nd for our Gigi Grilling Gala, where we're going to share with you all of our favorite ways to get outdoor cooking. Sounds fun, that event. Put it on your calendars. Candace, Heather, thank you ladies. If those pretty girls can do it, then we all can roll up our sleeves and get to work. This is the time to do it as summer officially kicks off, which means barbecue season in our future. We love that.